Neo to hundred dollars in 2020. Welcome back, guys. It's Crypto Rocco from Rockstar Trading Channel. In today's video, guys, we'll be looking at Neo in detail. So I'll be doing a fundamental analysis of Neo. So I'll be looking at what Neo is, what's coming out for Neo in the future, and is it a good coin to be investing in also guys i'll be uh, looking at neo's news and do a price prediction to what i do best at the end of the video also i'll be looking at for neo's news and see what's going on and i'll share with you how i am looking to trade neo as well so without further ado let's get into the video so neo neo is a an open network for the smart e smart economy. Neo is an open source community driven platform that is leveraging the intrinsic advantages of blockchain technology to realize the optimized digital world of the future. So Neo is one of those uh, first platform or one of the first platform currencies that I got interested in back in 2017, and it was one of my favorite coins. Um, I compared it a lot with Ethereum. It's similar to three Ethereum with smart trade contract technology, and then there's been loads of news, uh, loads of new ones coming out. You know, EOS, Ada, Cardano, uh, Cardano Ada is the same one. Um, Ontology, uh, Aeon. There's loads of loads of them that are now at the moment the ICO that um sort of ICX that's trying to kind of compete in the same market or similar market if you if you want to use that terminology. Neo used to be in the top ten, now it's back at seventeen but recently it's been getting hype and i've been mainly trading it i was invested in neo massively um, back in 2017 i don't know if you still were involved in in cryptocurrency i bought some neo when it was uh, less than ten dollars and then um, yes i rode i took profit i rode them i bought a lot more at fifty dollars because i thought it might be great uh, I, I think i sold some but i still had some and i didn't sell them until i think it was this bounce at twenty dollars i probably got rid of my bag and that that wasn't really great because if if you're aware i'm more of a trader you know recently i've uh, traded neo uh, quite well and um if you remember my again I, on youtube i share with you my videos that coins that i'm looking to buy check out my top three coins to buy that was uh, a week ago and um, if you watch my, if you watch the signals, guys, um, I've shared it. Uh, you can check out this educational group. Uh, I share with you exactly what I'm looking to buy with the exact price and stop loss. So I shared this uh, signal uh, for Neo with exact buy and sell. And then um, did I huddle for the 25%? No. The way I trade, I take profit around you know five, six to ten percent. I took some off, and then I was holding for the break. Luckily, we got the break. And then it went up massively again. Did I just huddle for the big 25%? Uh, I think it went up 30% even just here. It went up about 30%. Did I huddle for that? No, I took, uh, I think I took it off at 5%. And then that's how I trade, guys. And that's the educational course that I teach. You can check it out. I'll leave the link below. Uh, there's one slot left for this month. Uh, there's only two months left. I'm doing this course until the end of the year. This is a live course. And as soon as you join, you get the full course. Um, so apologies, I got distracted. Let me actually get back to the video. So some of the technology for Neo. So Neo's got some new things coming up. So smart contract is uh, what I was looking at uh, recently. There's more stuff coming up. The Oracle, a built-in Oracle component, enabling smart contracts to access external resources. Uh, this is quite interesting. I'm also interested in what Chainlink is doing. Neo's FS, uh, a distributed object storage solution for on-chain data applications. I'm going to look at that in a bit more detail. And Neo's ID as well. This is something I'm interested in. Again, a customizable. Uh, a decentralized self sovereign severe i can't seem to pronounce it sovereign identity protocol so neo in retrospect you can go back neo has actually got a huge history it's from china uh, it's got a good links with the chinese government uh, i'm made to believe so if with the chinese bullishness on cryptocurrency neo is getting a lot of attention and it's not just that uh, that's uh, that's not the only reason neo is talking about neo 3.0 so there's a lot of developments coming which is uh, getting people interested would i buy my would i sell my house and buy neo now no i wouldn't because you know uh, we've seen this happen thousands of thousands of times again and i'll talk about that when we see price and i link it link it back with the news i'm going to share with you the fundamentals of neo initially so neo ecosystem uh, with thriving partners and projects the neo ecosystem is rapidly growing and developing thus enabling neo to become the foundation for next gen next gen industry you can see their community the d app platform if you look if you look at the users of ethereum and compare it with the neo and even tron i mean 
with trans users and dApps i'm not sure how uh, the legitimacy of it neo is a lot more legitimate the people behind it is a lot more trustworthy and respectable but ethereum i think is the main leading one and i'll share with you you know which coins uh, which ones uh, whether i'll invest in it and compare it with ethereum a key advantage why i was so interested in neo was um, again i'm not a coder i'm more of a trader like i said you can do, go watch my videos uh, trading is what i do i've been doing it for over five years and i've been involved in cryptocurrency over two or three years but i am interested in blockchain and, and I, I go to networking events and speak to my developer and coder friends and they they say neo's coding is a lot more user friendly you can code it in different languages neo is dedicated to bringing your ideas to life by offering the most comprehensive and developer friendly toolkit for smart contracts development to dapp integration so that's something what i've been told um and uh, when I was looking into Neo back early in 2014, uh, 2017, this was one of the things that interested me in Neo. And I was backing Neo uh, amongst all the, all the thousands or hundreds of uh, crypto coins that was trying to do the same thing. The Neo mainnet has been steadily evolving across three years since the launch in 2016, with the release of Neo 3 rapidly approaching. Neo is ramping up for a series of major updates to the protocol layer to de uh, to deliver a most stable high performance develop deliver developer optimized infrastructure to serve as the foundation of next gen interest so this is just a quick overview of neo i'm going to look at some other analysis that people have made and the main article that i'll uh, go look but this is a huge article i'll probably rec if you're interested in neo and want to invest it i'll leave this link below because this is probably the most important one it's from eric zhang uh, the roadmap of neo 3.0 but i'm going to explain to you, explain neo in in a bit more user-friendly way if you're new to cryptocurrency so neo is a platform with a with support for its own cryptocurrency of the same name on the network based on the distributed original it was created back in China in 2014 at first it was called Anshares and the rebranding was something that worked uh, with few coins done that uh, rebranding seems to increase their price for some reason you know newbies buy for FOMO win when new names come in and please don't fall for that the ICO details are here and what I would recommend is NEO has got a they have released their uh, financials ahead of the cryptocurrency relaunch so you can understand more about uh, the ICO, how it's shared and how it's working, the breakdown of it. Again, if you're interested in NEO, I would highly recommend you watch it uh, or read this bit. And what I will say is it it's not give, it's not shown many red flags. You know, sometimes when you analyze ICOs, I don't invest in ICOs anymore. It was a great, it was like free money back in 2017 and I, I did invest in a couple in 2018 and lost some money. But again, I I, I just love this new technology and this shiny new object um so yeah, I, d I definitely recommend you you read that bit as well but you learn a lot more of it just looking at this roadmap so the new features i uh, talked about some of the new features already when we talk about neo 3.0 being a ready for large-scale commercial use we mean it we mean it provides the possibility to run large-scale applications with blockchain technology in the future would like to see applications such as youtube Alipay gaming giants like Tencent and Blizzard run on blockchain Neo 3.0 will allow these big organizations to do that it's very difficult because whenever something new comes out they make huge huge claims but Neo is a bit more respected and the price is cheap if you're interested you could look to invest in this coin but I'm more of a trader like I said and I'll, if you make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification button is Neo is a coin that is on my list all the time and I always keep an eye out for Neo and then it talks about uh, the history of it uh, decentralized exchange few coins are doing that guys a uh, neo De uh, nash dex is a result of N neon exchange rebranding but few coin are trying to look at creating their own uh, sort of exchange um It'd be interesting to see what happens because you know exchanges are the only cryptocurrencies that make money if you watch my best cryptocurrency video for this year i talked about bnb the binance coin because that's a coin probably that is actually making money most cryptocurrencies don't make any money at all so neo is a very good long-term a long-term asset for great developers the indicators of this coin speak for themselves it is brought already bought 
brought a lot of profit to those who invested in the coin at the beginning. Their development aimed at business customers and active development of the blockchain ecosystem makes Neo an extremely promising asset. However, the official launch of NASDAQ and Neo 3 point mainnet really should push the asset price further. That's something you can do, guys. Look for coins that are coming out with news mainnet launches decks or you know um, just big announcements and you could trade them use my strategy that i teach to find setups of these coins and they seem to work quite well and neo gave the perfect setups when it was going up you know this was a perfect entry for us and i shared another signal uh, for this pump as well so uh, let's talk about this so what and why neo can do what no other cryptocurrency can't do so one thing they talk about you know is uh, neo's links with china so they've got something that you know a lot of other currencies might not have so this is something that's positive for for neo a focus on regulatory compliance neo maintains a clear distinction from other standard blockchain platforms as it's focused on being reg regulatory compliant and if you want to work in china in america you need to be regulatory compliant so this is another positive for NEO uh, for the future and enter on chain while working on NEO the cryptocurrency founders Eric Zan and Da Hong Fi, uh, I don't know if I pronounced it right, won the interest of various enterprises looking for private blockchain solutions, thus emerged on-chain in 2014, an independent technology company that works with the necessary financial and legal frameworks. So this is something that can really help NEO. I wanted to share that point as well. The common founders of NEO and on-chain envision they will be able to achieve cross-chain interoperability. This was a buzzword back in 2018 in the future. That is mechanism will be developed to connect and share information between various blockchains whether they are public like neo or private such as operated by businesses essentially neo and on-chain may pave the much needed middle po middle path between completely decentralized unregulated anonymous blockchain system like bitcoin and conventional kyc compliant economy that is present system of banks and credit a potential solution for china uh, if promising on-chain technology can be accepted and integrated with the Chinese government this is a huge claim if it does that neo I mean hundred dollars is a bit of a crazy up in the air price prediction you know anything can happen in the cryptocurrency market but if this is just a flash in the pan with a bounce with the news of neo 3.0 and China's good news this might not be the time to be investing and I'll share with you how to do that at the end of this video the technical robustness of neo on-chain concept and its centralized approach looks promising making it an attractive option not just for Chinese authorities but for other foreign governments that are wary of the anonymous decentralized virtual cryptocurrency market so talked about NEO's financial stuff. I shared with you uh, a little bit about where NEO stands with the other cryptocurrencies. And I, one thing I did say, two things, two points I'd like to make is, you know, NEO is in China, so that can have a lot of benefits. I talked about NEO's user-friendly, uh, user-friendly coding for coders and developers which is another positive so neo has got a few positives but we need to see adoption guys that that's what it all it comes down to are uh, you have you got adoption if you haven't got adoptions not much is going to work so let's come to the juicy bit guys the price prediction and the technical analysis which is what i'm known for um one thing I would like to say is you need to buy coins before they pump, before they go crazy. So now you see, whenever I see news on Twitter and people message me on Facebook, again, I do a crypto live stream every Sunday. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification button. And if you have any questions, any coin requests, you can do that. I'll leave all the links below to join the Facebook group and uh, you how you can ask me questions. Um, but whenever you see coins, uh, you know, uh, covered in news, in Twitter, on Facebook and Reddit, that's when you know it's time to sell guys and you can see you know neo is seem to be turning back if it breaks above this i'll be interested but you know you should be buying coins that are here this pump was kind of caught me off guard and no one knew that china was going to come out and make that news uh, announcement uh, it did give a, you give you a setup here i didn't personally trade this guys because i wasn't at my desk when this happened i know a few people did what i did was i bought some uh, here for a pump and then i held uh, i think i shared my signal here as well for the big pump that happened anyways guys um i hope you guys enjoyed my news analysis now let's have a look at the technical analysis so this is the log chart so it doesn't look as bad if i come out of the log chart this literally looks like a crazy chart but let's do it in a log chart because so it's a bit similar 
so easier to read so neo had that big pump back in uh, early 2019 and then it just been dropping 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 the daily trend change happened the weekly trend change happened as well guys but it could not see follow through it was literally a monthly higher low and then is dumping so it's not really the best looking chart what i would like to see neo is uh, what i like about neo is it's made a ha weekly higher low so in elliott waves terms is it start of a new uptrend so uh, you could potentially draw a trend line here is it a higher low and it's going is it going to try and move up that is what we need to know and it is so cheap guys you can buy some here and you know have your stop loss there the risk to reward is quite low i've shared an rvn trade like that uh, the bat trade you know a lot of the trades that i take to, uh, just buying uh, historical support uh, with stop loss below is high risk to reward trades so that's sort of a long term thing if it can from a higher low and what i would like to see is a simple trend change i've got an hour long video on trend change i would like to see this so take some profit here if it pulls back you know use the fibonacci video that i made to get in and um and wait for a trend change because if it breaks now it's just a daily trend change what we want to see is a weekly consolidation and they break out higher if it does break out again i might look for a short trade uh, but i won't be interested in longer term trades unless it pulls back and then breaks up so that's my chart analysis against the usd dollar again uh, some people might say why well, have you taught why have you said a hundred dollars i mean if cryptocurrency is pumped they can pump like crazy yeah, neo pump went up but 350 60 percent earlier that year uh neo can easily i mean 200 dollars is 600 so neo's already pumped 600 in a bear market so if bitcoin does well it all comes down to bitcoin guys if bitcoin does well you know neo went from less than four dollars to you know 200 dollars within months so anything can happen that was just a crazy price prediction if neo actually delivers it might not be as crazy price prediction but there's a difference between price predictions and trading if you're investing you could use that again i, I, I find investing in cryptocurrency very difficult so i'm more of a trader so if neo does that it does a trend change and moves up i'll buy it and see if i can run it if neo doesn't do that my prediction could be, uh, could be wrong but i'm not making money that is a really good concept guys uh, to to grasp if my prediction is wrong that's fine i don't mind but i don't want to lose money what i would hate is if it gives me a setup i'll buy it and then it fails then my prediction is wrong and my and i lose money that's what i hate lots of my predictions are wrong but so my trading has been really good if you look at the litecoin trade the chain link trade again these are all signals that's been provided beforehand on here on my free facebook group and on my youtube as well you can check out the videos on ripple chain link anyways that's my thoughts on neo usd i trade neo mainly with bitcoin so let's have a quick look at the bitcoin chart so neo has gone above the 236 level and if you guys know me i love when coins are above the 236 level now it's consolidating between the 382236 what i would like is a pullback to sort of you can't really see this let me get rid of that what i would like so this is the 236 level and i've done more fibonacci i don't want to confuse you so i would like it to stay above the red zone if it pulls back to sort of the 50 percent zone so if it pulls back to let's draw a circle if it pulls back to here the red moving average and then bounces i'll be really happy and then i'd look to buy the breakout this is a 382 level where we want it to get above and um, that would be potentially a trade my longer term if neo gets above this so if, this is this is how i'm looking to trade so if it comes back here gives me a setup you know my indicators get oversold i get a you know pull back to moving average or rsi divergence is any strategy that i teach uh, to enter but if neo for so that's my from for the, from a traders that's my advice to you and make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification button to stay up to date or if you have any questions you can message me i'll try to help you out but for my investors i would like neo to get above this yellow line and i use the bitcoin chart uh, a lot more than my a usd dollar chart if neo can get a daily or weekly close above 1729 against bitcoin that will be very very bullish you can see it's a massive resistance if you look at the weekly chart as well it's above the red moving average the red moving average is turning up for the first time in 
you know in probably a year if we've not seen it trying to move up it's always been going down we've not seen any strong moves like this and with high very high volume so it is looking exciting for neo what we need to see is a a close above this yellow line if we see that guys i'll be very bullish on neo and you could look to you know take an investment position maybe again i'm not an investor i'm not a financial advisor all i'm doing is sharing my thoughts i've been trading for five years and you can see my youtube video for over three years some of the calls i've made but please do not listen to me do not listen to anyone make your own decision and if we do get a you know cryptocurrency rally rally again and i'm not saying altcoin season i don't like using the word if we have another rally like that this can be an opportunity of a lifetime so make sure invest in yourself um and learn uh, learn how to trade you know get education anyways thank you very much guys i hope you guys enjoyed that video it's been a long video but i wanted to make this video um and like i said guys don't buy into this hype when people start talking about it buy when people are not talking about it that's how you make the money if you buy when people are so excited it's a quick way to lose money because that's how it works people get excited i mean this week um i haven't got it on my i've not got that um my facebook group or tabs open i'm damn sure in my, my sunday live stream the most requested coin is going to be neo because neo is moving up it, it was Chainlink or it was ada whichever coin is pumping they want to talk about it um the, the, and it's important to not be that guy and it's important to actually trade with setups and have a trading plan so thank you very much guys i hope you guys enjoyed it my question to you guys is what is your thoughts on neo fundamentally and technical analysis wise uh, comment below your price prediction for neo or if there's any other coins you think is better than neo let me know and let's have a discussion guys so thank you very much smash that like button subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys soon with another great video thank you very much